Hello everyone! This video is going to help us get started in actively reading a defensive posy and poems by Sir Philip Sidney. And for this video, we're going to focus on the title. The title to many works tells you what the work is going to be about, so it's generally a good idea to start your marginal notes and active close reading with an analysis of the title of the work, the author, as well as the year and place of publication. It would also be a good idea to research the author and the time period in which any text you are studying was written. This text was written by Sir Philip Sidney, and it was published in 1595. And you may notice some interesting things about the title. Did Sir Philip Sidney have trouble with spelling? No, of course not. The spelling of the 16th century was not always standardized according to the spelling and grammatical rules of today. And also, even though some countries may speak the same language, they do not always spell the same words the exact same way, so we can expect variations in spelling across time and location. What matters the most for our reading of Sir Philip Sidney's A Defense of Posey and Poems is the meaning of the words in the title. I performed a Google search for the definition of the word defense. Notice the various definitions from dictionary.com. The first is resistance against attack, protection. The second definition is something that defends as a fortification, physical or mental quality, or medication. The third definition states the defending of a cause or the like by speech, argument, etc. The fourth, the speech, argument, etc. in vindication. The next definitions have to do with law, psychology, and sports. Remember from the Mortimer J. Adler articles that we need to ask questions of the text as we read it for active, close reading. Which definition or definitions are most likely to define the word defense as Sir Philip Sidney is using it in his title? From reading the title alone, I may not know the answer to that question directly, and if I don't, then I should look for the answer to my question in the text itself as I read it. Now let's take a look at the word posy. So Philip Sidney spells the word P-O-E-S-I-E, -E, whereas this definition spells it P-O-S-Y. But again, most important is the definition of the word. We have two here. The first definition states a small bunch of flowers, but this seems like an unlikely definition for Sir Philip Sidney's title. The next definition states a short motto or line of verse inscribed inside a ring. This definition seems more likely, especially considering the next word, poems. There are several different but similar titles to this text. For example, some variations of the title have poetry instead of poems. For this title, we're using the word poem, and it has three main definitions which I'll let you read here. What the title of the work tells us is that Sir Philip Sidney has a particular perspective on poetry that he intends to defend using argumentation. It will be up to us, the reader, to read and understand what the arguments about poetry are and why he felt compelled to write such a defense. Now, earlier, I had made an assumption that we are using the second definition of the word posy, a short motto or line of verse inscribed inside a ring. I made that assumption because of the word that followed in the title, poem. But I could be incorrect. This text could be a defense both of flowers and poems. So I want to be sure to keep an open mind as I read and actively search for the answers to my questions about what the text is going to be about. Thank you so much for listening and watching this video. 